Patek Philippe vs Rolex is a deeply grounded discussion among watch enthusiasts. So, which luxury watch brand is superior? Which brand is built better? And which brand is more prestigious? In addition, and probably most importantly, which one makes the perfect watch for you? Welcome to the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. Rolex and Patek Philippe are two distinct watchmakers. However, on their own, they have each developed into two of the industry's most prestigious and sought-after watch brands. One of the oldest and longest-running watch companies is Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe had been in business for more than 60 years when Rolex was founded in 1905. Nevertheless, Rolex has its own lengthy history. Even though their histories are different, Patek Philippe and Rolex both have a passion for tradition and a drive for new ideas. When discussing luxury watches, Patek Philippe and Rolex are typically the first two names that come to mind. Both brands have a track record of success in auctions, aesthetics, prestige, heritage, and iconic references. However, the similarities end there. Despite being compared so frequently, the two brands simply cannot compete with one another. Don't think so? Give us a chance to explain that briefly to you. Patek isn't quite as notable as Rolex. However, watch aficionados who truly understand luxury watches believe Patek to be incredibly first in class. With their exceptional quality, elegance, outstanding complications, and horological feats, Patek Philippe is known as an elite watchmaker. A timepiece from Patek is indeed a work of art. People usually just assume that Patek Philippe watches are better because they are so expensive. However, despite the fact that Patek Philippe and Rolex are both luxury watchmakers, their production volumes are vastly different and they operate in distinct luxury market segments. Industry statistics estimate that Patek produced approximately 58,000 watches per year in 2017, while Rolex produced approximately a million watches. However, neither Patek nor Rolex openly discloses sales or production data. As a result, Patek Philippe and Rolex operate in very different markets. Patek Philippe thrives on extreme exclusivity, whereas Rolex thrives on popular demand. However, we should point out that some Rolex models and reference numbers are produced in smaller, more exclusive quantities than others, and that even though Rolex produces a lot of watches, demand is still much higher than supply. Patek's exclusivity has a purpose. Patek places a strong emphasis on haute horlogerie, grand complications, and elegant dress watches despite the fact that both companies manufacture exceptional Swiss timepieces that are renowned for their designs and accuracy. Calatrava, a timeless design, and the renowned Golden Ellipse are two examples. There are additionally the excellent intricacies that highlight complex extra capabilities like moon faces, perpetual calendars, as well as minute readers. The fact that these extremely complicated watches require a significant amount of time to make is directly related to the exclusivity of Patek. In contrast, Rolex's highly functional and iconically designed sports and tool watches such as the Daytona, Submariner, and Explorer are much more well-known to the public. Rolex also makes dress watches and its sports watch collections frequently feature gold and two-tone references that provide additional stylistic versatility without compromising functionality. However, stainless steel sports watches are some of Rolex's most well-liked models. These watches are adored for combining luxurious finishes with components that are aesthetically appealing, long-lasting, accurate, and can last for a long, long time. Drivers, racing, sports, and pilots' watches are just a few of the specialties they produce. Rolex watches are worn with style and charm by men of action and prestige. Furthermore, Rolex is also the most talked about luxury watch brand overall, and Rolexes can be found all over the world. Let us also mention that Patek Philippe makes its own sports watches, like the extremely exclusive fan-favorite Nautilus. However, Rolex has a much sharper eye for luxury sports watches, 
while Patek is much more focused on expensive, complicated dress watches. It's hard to say which of the two brands is better because of the vastly different areas of expertise and prices. Although Pateks are obviously more costly, that does not necessarily imply that they are better in the grand scheme of things. Rolex has only been in business for 110 years, whereas Patek has been making watches for already 180 years. However, they surpassed all other luxury watchmakers during that time. In terms of pure prestige, Patek is still the best, but Rolex is more recognizable, carrying success on your wrist. Picasso had a Patek Philippe, but men of action such as Sir Edmund Hillary, James Bond, and Steve McQueen all had Rolex watches that showcase rugged, masculine appearances. With Rolex, there really isn't any other watch that comes close. Of course, Rolex enthusiasts would surely agree. But what about other industry professionals with a more objective perspective? Patek does not give in to the whims of the market. Their mission is to protect their reputation fiercely. Patek provides archival extracts and other materials to back up its pieces, as well as providing excellent customer service. As we all know, this can be difficult to obtain from other brands, not only in the watch industry. If you are going to spend a lot of money on a Patek Philippe, then you can be confident that you get competitive and decent customer support just in case your watch has a problem. Patek invested significantly more in the brand. Rolex does with promoting, thus does Patek. However, we think Patek put resources into the legacy of their image more than Rolex has. A Rolex watch doesn't show its movement, but most Patek Philippe watches have a sapphire case back that lets you enjoy the movement and even show it off. Patek Philippe presents its movements as genuine works of art, whereas Rolex focuses on reliable movements and everyday watches. The amount of work put into the finishing of Patek Philippe's movements determine a significant portion of their watches. On the other hand, the finishing of Rolex's movements is much more straightforward. The Submariner, GMT, and Explorer are examples of Rolex watch with Mercedes hands, while the Datejust, Daydate, Milgauss, and Daytona have a variety of hands. This is in contrast to the Calatrava collection from Patek Philippe, which includes more types of hands than Rolex's entire collection. Since Rolex primarily produces sports watches, the company offers more numerous steel models than the other. Patek Philippe, on the other hand, makes a lot of watches made of precious metals like gold and platinum. Even when the brand produces steel watches, people still consider their models to be more than just everyday watches. The watch Nautilus, for instance, carried the slogan, one of the world's costliest watches is made of steel. Rolex watches do not have power reserve indicators, tourbillons, perpetual calendars, world timers, or minute repeaters. In contrast, Patek Philippe is well known for producing watches with out-of-this-world complications. Due to the leadership of the Stern family, Patek Philippe has maintained its success. They have produced some of the most innovative and intricate timepieces currently available and remain committed to the vision of their founders. Rolex has shifted its efforts to concentrate on crucial partnerships with sporting events and other industries, despite being a pioneer in the world of horology. Rolex and Patek Philippe are two of the most well-known wristwatches available, and this is why these two brands are often battled with one another. Collectors and watch enthusiasts who enjoy cutting-edge timepieces are likely to have these two brands in their collection despite the fact that their prices are vastly different and cater to two distinct demographics. Nevertheless, the production of timepieces with a sleek, traditional aesthetic is a common trait among the two brands' traditional approaches to watchmaking. So, which is better? Well, it's difficult to pick. One thing is for sure though, you can never go wrong with a Rolex or a Patek Philippe. And that's it for this video. So, tell us your thoughts. Which of these two luxury brands would you go for? We are looking forward to reading your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. This is the luxury world, and we will see you on the next one.